Lots of people could have a physique equal to Jake or even better while being natural at 43 or even 53. But the question is, did he? Coach Greg, in today's video, we're doing a natty or not on none other than Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal, he's actually had natty or nots done on him in the past. At the end of the day, I think he probably used something small like an Anivar to prepare for this role. Derek from More Plates, More Dates, he actually did one on him. And in it, just to save you from time, obviously you can go watch it, he had stated that he thought he was likely taking Anivar for his role in... Southpaw. Remember, I forget everything. I'm lucky I remember this guy's name. And if you look back to his physique, dating back to his late teens and early 20s, the guy was very skinny. He didn't have a lot of muscle. He wasn't naturally a guy who was jacked. And so if you're basing his genetics on how much muscle he had to start with, he was perhaps below average in terms of his genetics. And so it's not like he just woke up and played sports in high school and had an amazing physique. He literally had to work on it, progressive overload, harder than last time. And throughout his career, he had an impressive physique. It's not like he suddenly, out of nowhere, at the age of 43, developed this amazing physique for Roadhouse. But he is, in fact, at his best, better than ever before, better than even in Southpaw, and he did so all the while being 43 years of age. And last I checked, there's only two athletes that I know that get better with age. Michael Hearn and, you guessed it, The Rock. Only The Rock gets better with age while being 100% natural. Everyone knows The Rock is natural, right? And so could it be that Jake Gyllenhaal is just a lucky guy that somehow at age 43 he discovered the right form of training, that perhaps he's doing long length partials, that he's been watching more Mike Isratel and Jeff Nibbard videos as well as Coach Greg than last time? Well, maybe it is in fact possible. Looking back at how he used to train, he was doing more so cardio-based workouts, bunch of push-ups, boxing, jumping jacks, things like that. Not hardcore lifting weights through progressive overload. I mean, if Fiction can gain 20 pounds in 30 days and he's a lot shorter than Jake, then does it not make sense that Jake could put on 20 pounds in 30 days? And so in some roles throughout his career, Jake Gyllenhaal, he presented an amazing physique. He had a clearly defined six pack, he also had a lot of muscle, but in other roles, he had none. For example, for his role in Nightcrawler, he literally lost 25 to 30 pounds. The guy was starving himself, hardly eating, and he lost a significant amount of muscle. But then for his movie role in Southpaw in 2015, in five months, he states he put on 15 pounds of muscle. And how did he do that? Well, he says this, I train twice a day. And so in five months, I was able to make the same gains as I would have done in 10 months by training two times a day instead of one. And so for example, if you were to train four times a day, you'd gain four times as much muscle as if you did training once a day. Does anyone believe that? If it just was all about whoever trained the most, the longest, the most sessions per week, they gained the most amount of muscle, then bodybuilders would be just training 10 times a day. And so considering his latest role was in Roadhouse, the pressure to look good is greater than ever before. Think of it. It's starring Conor McGregor, a guy who would never touch substances, a guy that always is speaking clearly. He never has his tongue out of his mouth. I mean, you've seen that interview where Jake Gyllenhaal was basically look at him and thinking, wow, what is going on right now? Can you believe they allowed this to be posted on social media? That interview was absolutely an embarrassment. I can't imagine what it was like to be Jake sitting next to Conor McGregor. But regardless of that, regardless of what we think about Conor, Jake would have been tempted, at least in theory, to look at his all-time best. And seeing it, he's now 43, it's going to be a lot harder. Does anyone think that it's just as easy to get in the shape of your life at 43 versus, for example, 33 or in your late 20s? Remember, Southpaw was in 2015, nine years ago. As you get older, you're going to lose muscle. Your testosterone levels are going to start to go down and it becomes significantly harder to have that impressive physique. And since the early 2000s, HRT clinics, peptides, different substances, hormonal support, it's been available more so than ever before. And so does anyone think that Jake Gyllenhaal would not have access to a very good medical team? Perhaps a dietitian, a nutritionist, a personal trainer, somebody working at an HRT clinic that could have prescribed him anything. 
And seeing as if we're doing a natty or not, I do believe that if he's using any banned substances by water, then we're going to deem him as being unnatural. Remember, that includes peptides, it includes SARMs, it includes HRT, namely even low doses of testosterone. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's no way I believe that this guy was abusing performance enhancing drugs. I think it's safe to say that his physique for many people could in fact have been achieved natural. For example, Jeff Cavalier has stated, nothing screams being unnatural. He does believe that somebody with great genetics that trains hard could achieve that physique while being natural. If you look at the evolution of Jake Gyllenhaal's body over the course of many, many years, this doesn't look very unattainable. Lots of people could have a physique equal to Jake or even better while being natural at 43 or even 53. But the question is, did he? And so I'd like to respond to that by saying, why would he be natural? Think of it, the guy's making tens of millions of dollars. He ain't poor, he's got more money than even Coach Greg. Let's replace the word SARM HRT peptide with something like creatine or GO2 max or Turk Builder. Would there be any reason why he wouldn't take those? And so imagine this, he's not taking creatine. Would you not think that's kind of ridiculous? Why would somebody trying to look their best at 43 not be taking creatine? Something that's safe, that's been proven to work, etc. We all know that NMN works and that GO2 Max gives you more endurance. And so why would he not take a supplement like GO2 Max? And if you've been reading the studies, unless you've been hiding under a rock, which many of you have, you're hiding from the studies. You don't actually want to read them because it's more fun to say, Coach Greg doesn't make sense. He's making this up you would know that Acti Builder and Turk Builder are shown to work. And so consider this, if you were paid millions of dollars for a movie role, to look your best, to have a shredded six pack, to have energy. Remember, if you've never dieted before to single digit body fat, it's a nightmare. And if somebody said, hey, there's a doctor that's going to prescribe HRT and monitor your blood, make sure that you're perfectly healthy, perhaps give you peptides, BPC-157, TB-500, whatever, that you could take these peptides and grow more muscle faster than ever before. Would you not want to take it? Remember, you're being monitored by a doctor. It's going to help you to build muscle, to recover faster, to feel better. Why wouldn't he take it? How important do you think it is to feel good? Do you know how good I feel every single day? I feel amazing, incredible. And yeah, I'm on HRT, 140 milligrams a week, but I'm also on GO2 Max. Gives me lots of energy. I take Acti Builder and Turk Builder every single day and I feel incredible. My fitness is up, I look better, I'm leaner, and how can you argue it? I'm 48 years of age. People made videos, Coach Greg doesn't take his own supplements. Are you kidding me? The majority of the supplements I created for my own benefit. If you buy it, it's a bonus. Some of the supplements I don't need, and I'm honest about it. For example, I don't need G-Test. I don't need to boost my testosterone levels because I'm on HRT. But if I wasn't on HRT, of course I would be taking it. G-Shred, I don't take it. I don't need a fat burner. I'm not trying to cut. If I was doing a bodybuilding competition, trying to get to 4% body fat, of course I would. And so other supplements like Delta Sleep and G-Focus, etc course I'm using these supplements. They are very effective. I highly recommend it. And if you're interested in any of these things, code Greg, 15% off. Click the link in the description. Now, before I make my final decision as to whether I think he's natural or enhanced, you have to realize this. They are showing you the best photos of the best, the cream of the crop, and I do believe they are enhancing those photos. With CGI these days and downwards lighting and taking photos from certain angles, they can make the body appear that much better than it actually is. And so perhaps if you saw them in the real world, in a t-shirt, in a tank top, without a pump, Without any downward lighting, you'd be shocked to see how small he actually is. And what I've been told is he's six feet tall, 184 pounds. The exact same height as perhaps Will Tennyson. I've been with Will. Not been with him that way. Will's approximately six feet tall and he weighs close to 200 pounds. And so he is in fact smaller than Will. And so based on all that I know, everything I put together, his physique, everything, I've decided that it could be possible that he did it natural, but I don't believe it. 
I think that given the same situation, 99% of people, given his financial abilities, given the fact he wants to be in the shape of his life, the pressure from social media to look the part, the fact that he looked better now at 43 than he did in his younger years, the fact that he would have had access to performance enhancing drugs, TRT and so on, in his last movie role, why would he not? I believe it would be too hard to say no. And so if somebody were to say, hey, I'm your doctor, you're dieting down for this role, and I notice your testosterone levels are only 376 nanograms per deciliter. To me, that's a little low. I'd like you to be in the 800s, the way Coach Greg is. You've seen Coach Greg, right, Jake? Or maybe it's not even HRT. You know what, Doc? I've been practicing fighting. I've been injured. Conor McGregor slammed me in the face. He hit me and it's really injured. I hurt my arm. I'm punching all the time. Could I get something to heal faster? Some peptides? Perhaps TB500, BPC157? Something? Could I get something to heal faster? Do you really think he's going to say no? No, I refuse to have anything to help me heal faster. And remember, these are performance enhancing drugs. They are PDs. They are banned by WADA. If it's banned by WADA, it deems you're not natural. And so am I saying he's on a cycle blasting trend? No, I don't think he's doing anything illegal. I think he's only listening to his doctor. And so is there anything wrong with that? I say no. If you go to your doctor, remember, he's dieting down, perhaps trying to get single-digit body fat, starving himself, having low amounts of energy, working all day on a movie roll, getting hardly any sleep. Imagine how demanding that is. And for that reason, and for that reason alone, I believe that Jake Gyllenhaal is not natural. Let me know in the comment section, do you agree with me? Or are you saying you are more jacked than him and you hardly train? And so, of course, he's natural because if you can do it, anyone can because that's how life works. Or are you under the opinion of Coach Greg? When you get older, it's harder. And even though his physique is attainable natural by some people with amazing genetics, doesn't mean that it is for him. Not saying he couldn't have done it. Not saying if he hadn't have trained his entire life since the age of 10, like Coach Greg, that he couldn't have looked like that at 43. Of course he could. But given the demanding schedule he has, the lack of effort that he puts in the gym throughout the years, I don't think that he's doing all of this with no help whatsoever. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Please like the video if you liked it. Give me a like, add a comment, it would help a lot. Also watch one of those two bloops. And of course, the cookbooks, the circle diet book, the train book, all these books can help you to lose weight, get in the shape of your life. Don't forget the free diet and training programs close to 50 pages. Become one of the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers. And until next time, I am out. Feels like I'm in freaking sauna bath today.